Welcome back. Welcome back to Auntie P. Ayad. Today we are going to be doing another simple but world favorite some pepper steak. Not just pepper steak, Auntie P. Ayad pepper steak. However, before we do that, I need you to like it, subscribe, and share. Description below, you're going to find everything you need to know. However, before we go any further, I want you all to give a big shout out to my girl, Mox's Cheesecakes down in Old Town. That is down in Orlando. Wants a specialty cheesecake. Hit her up. Check her out. Mox's Cheesecakes. She's on Instagram. Follow my chick. I'm telling you, cheesecakes are going to make you say slap your mama stupid. But moving forward, here we go. Pepper steak. What we are going to do? See him so. Family, look at that. Pepper steak with some white rice. No other way to have pepper steak unless you're gonna do it with some noodles. White rice is the best option. I am telling you, look at that. Yes, winner. Taste it. Love it. And yard. So, family, for our pepper steak, right? We're gonna be using these items. Simple. Anti peas, all purpose. We're going to use some cornstarch, sugar, instead of soy sauce today, I am using some Worcestershire sauce, right, because I'm going to have my steak to marinate while I cut my veggies. Red pepper, green pepper, yellow onion, simple. But before we get into the nitty gritty of all this stuff, right, we are going to julienne slice our veggies. And most importantly, can't call it pepper steak without the steak, I have here some top round of beef we're gonna thin slice this and we're gonna make this marinade while we get our veggies cut ha huh, wait for it as we go through the process family of getting my steak cut right we're gonna call what is the, they call cutting against the grain so I'm gonna make some nice thin slices right which is cutting it nice and thin and then I'm gonna have my steak along with my tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce and my teaspoon and a half of sugar sort of sit there and marinate okay that's what we're gonna do so family I'm going to now in turn add that auntie pea seasoning which will be coming to your plate very soon we're working on it. We're gonna make it happen. Working on the anti pee. Spice blend, baby. Stir up your kitchen. Make some stuff happening. So I'm add my seasoning. I'm gonna drop my tablespoon and a half of, sorry, <laughs> my half cup of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just gonna let that sit. And while I let that sit and sort of marinate so that all those flavors come together right we're then in turn gonna do the veggies now I have here some ginger right just about a tablespoon of minced ginger we're gonna talk about that shortly yes but we're gonna then Julian cut these onions we're gonna cut up these onions Julian slice it now Pepper steak is one of those where, <laughs> just like anything else, everybody has their own views or opinion on it. Some people want to add broccoli. Again, cooking is one of those where it's a matter of choice, some items. And I am a model believer in you can make anything great with any flavors that you like, right? So we're gonna make this thing happen. We're cutting our julienne slice, peppers and onions. And we're gonna make this sucker pop. 
Now, everybody has their method of cutting their peppers or getting rid of your seeds. You can choose to cut it off, you waste your pepper, you can just cut it in two, to let the, the center piece out, get rid of that, right? Waste not, want not. So we're gonna not waste, and we just sort of cut the pepper in two, get rid of the seeds, and make it happen. And yes, I'm not looking at you because I'm trying to save my fingers. I'm not gonna cut them off just because. We're in the kitchen for fun, not for danger, right? So we're gonna have some fun while we do what we do. And this is what we're gonna do, baby. Julian slice these peppers. Now, I don't want too much of a thin slice because I like my veggies to not only flavor my food, but I want to taste them as well, right? So we, we're nice, thin enough, but not thick. Less than a quarter inch thick. And I will not be using the entire red pepper. I'm using half because the red pepper seems to be twice the size of my green. And there, it's just that simple. Cut it, plug it. You know, people tell you, cut that whole half off, but then you're wasting so much of your pepper. I don't know if you guys have been in the supermarket lately, but these suckers are cheap. Right? And it's not the season to have it in the backyard right now either. So this is what we're doing. Our veggies were washed and clean, right? And here we are. Now, I can use the whole pepper if I want to. And I might because I think I want it. Right? And you just want to blend your ratio veggies to your preference. We're going to feed four people out of this, what we're doing here, right? And this is what we're doing. So here goes my veggies. There go. So here we are, family, my peppers and my onions, right? I also have two tablespoons of minced garlic, my one tablespoon of ginger. We talk about my sugar. And I got my steak nicely being marinated. I added another tablespoon and a half of soy sauce along with my Worcestershire sauce. I mean, more flavor can't harm than nothing, yeah? So this is what we're doing. And while this sits here and sort of marinate, I am now then gonna have a tablespoon of vegetable oil heating because we're gonna put that steak in there and let it sizzle. And it's nice and toasty. I'm cooking this at a medium heat. Now, here we go, family. Steak in. You're gonna hear this sizzle. Sizzle! Ah. Woo! The steak doesn't take much. The aroma is beautiful. Smells so nice. Smells so nice. So we're gonna give this maybe about three to five minutes just to ensure that the steak is cooked. We don't want to overcook it. Good fans, make noise. Gotta slow it down, alright? So there we are. Let's turn our heat down on a low. This here is takes roughly 20 minutes to be knocked out and be done. So now that my steak is nice, and I'm telling you, perfect. And because it's thin, it doesn't take much to do, right? We're in turn going to add our veggies, add our ginger and our garlic, just to excite this pot. It's coming, wait for it. I'm telling you, I know I'm messing your taste buds up. I'm getting the feedbacks, I'm getting the compliments, I'm getting the comments, and we are making this pop. With your support, Auntie Pia Yard, I'm telling you, blow up, we said blow up, we're gonna blow up. We're gonna make this happen, we're gonna make you happy, we're gonna make your kitchen life just simply nice. Right? Like, share, subscribe, Auntie Pia Yard, follow me, Instagram, Twitter, believe it, and I am TikToking people. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna do this, and I can only do it with you. Please check the description below. Any comments, full recipe will be provided. 
and I tell you, spice is coming just for you. Auntie Pete gonna make this happen. So look at this family. Dropping in ginger and garlic, right? There goes that. Just sort of sauteed around. We're on low. We're making this happen, right? Now we're gonna put our veggies in. I'm telling you folks, if you only could smell what I'm smelling, ha, trust me, it's popping. Popping. It in there, it in there. All in there, we put it in there. Right? So I have some families doing, the kids started up this thing called chocolate unicorn. And I am telling you, the imagination of children and their family putting things alive, it's remarkable. Check it out. Chocolate unicorn. Look it up on Instagram. It's empower children of color. Check it out. Things happening, folks. Things are happening. Things are happening. So there is my pepper steak, right? But we're not done. We are also not done. Remember that sugar? Remember that cornstarch? We're going to put it in just to add some base, some juice in with our pepper steak. So when you serve it, not only are you getting the flavor of your meat and your veggies, but you also get the flavor of its juices. Auntie P, me say, Auntie P, we do. Love you, boo-boo. A tablespoon of cornstarch in with some water just to dissolve that cornstarch. And then I'm also gonna add that sugar. But I need more liquid in this. This is not liquid enough for me, right? And I want my, my, my veggies to still have a bit of a crunch to it, right? So I'm gonna add just a little water. I am adding in a cup of water just to allow, don't want it greasy, don't want it to be um, too mushy, and I still want it to be on much of the healthiest side of things, right? So we're going to cover this and just allow the veggies to sort of come together. But before we do that, look at what we're going to do. Mm. Tasty. Already tasty. Look at this family. Wonderful. Beautiful. Colorful. Tasty. Peppered steak. The right amount of flavor. The right amount of texture. I am telling you, look at that. Picture perfect. Taste but immaculate. Onto be a yard. Pepper steak. Look at it. I know you gotta taste it. I know you can taste it. Look at that family. Look at the flavors, colors. Look at all those colors, family. Look at that. Wonderful texture. Perfect. Not overcooked. Not underdone. Perfect. Sure. Look at it. You can see the garlic, the peppers, the onions. I know your taste bud is wet. Family, when I tell you, it tastes good. When I tell you, flavorful, flavor. See, my mouth is full of water, I already can't talk. You see, it? when I tell you, flavorful, it is flavorful. Right? But when you want a quick, after work, something quick to make, this would be a great option. As I said before, you can do it with broccoli. You can do it with anything, right? But, hmm, you can actually hear the veggie scrunch. <clears throat> the right amount of ginger, 
the right amount of garlic, the pepper and onion, the right texture. You can cook it more if you want to, by choice, of course. When it comes on to whatever you put in your mouth, it should be by choice. Up, oh, hundred. Absolutely perfect. I truly wish a lot of you guys were closer or present to taste all of this. I'm sharing with you, virtually, of course, but when I tell you, Auntie P thinking of you. <laughs>